Um, wow. Yes, you saw that correctly. I'm eating salad dressing off of a wooden spoon. Probably because it's one of the best tasting salad dressings I've ever had. And I am incredibly excited to make this video. So have you guys ever been to a restaurant that does house-made Caesar salad dressing and it tastes so phenomenal, but then when you try to replicate that recipe when you go home, you fail. This is likely because grocery store Caesar salad dressing that is available to us mere mortals is bottled and has a six month shelf life or more. Or we do try to make that homemade recipe we saw on a gourmet chef site online and it's super tricky. It has complicated ingredients like anchovy paste and it involves combining oil and eggs in just the perfect way in your blender or else the entire dressing is ruined. Anybody else been in that situation besides me? I've been there a few times. So I have been experimenting with different Caesar salad recipes and I am so excited about this one. It is out of this world and it's not that hard. It's using ingredients we all have in our pantries at home. I cannot wait for you to try it yourself, so let's get cooking. I'm Jen. I live in rural Ontario, Canada with my husband Andrew and we have six children, four girls and two boys. Yes, there's a lot of estrogen in this home. I am so glad that you're here with me to make my new favorite salad dressing and yes, it is a favorite of each and every one of my children. Before we get mixing, I did want to tell you that I have an entire playlist of salad dressing videos from sweet vinegar to French honey mustard to coleslaw, potato salad dressing, you name it, I've pretty much done a video on it. And the reason I like making homemade salad dressings is because it's a lot healthier for us. If you think of the amount of preservatives, chemicals, and artificial flavors that are in the salad dressings we buy on the shelf at the store, it's just better for our bodies to be making it ourselves at home. Not to mention a whole lot cheaper. And this channel is all about saving money, so I love that. So when you're done watching this video, make sure you check out the whole playlist of salad dressings below. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to give a bonus recipe of my favorite homemade crouton. So stick around for that for this salad. So here's the ingredients that you're going to need to have. Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, black pepper, Dijon mustard, mayonnaise, salt, freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and garlic. So we're starting with half a cup of mayo. Now I'm using Hellman's mayonnaise. I just like the taste of it for this dressing better, but just use whatever brand you want. Two teaspoons of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, not much, and then one large clove of fresh garlic. Our garlic is actually very fresh and potent because we grow it ourselves and we picked it from the garden not too long ago. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or watch some of my other YouTube videos so you can know all about our gardening journey here in our home, but um, this is very fresh. So give those ingredients a mix with a spoon until it's creamy. Now you're going to add one third of a cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese, as well as one whole teaspoon of black pepper. You want a lot of black pepper in here for taste. Whisk that all together until smooth. And you can see here, it's quite a thick sauce. I love a thick Caesar salad dressing, but if you like it to be a little thinned out, you could add one tablespoon of water at this point to thin it. I'm storing mine in a mason jar because I love to do that. You could store it in whatever vessel you choose. And I actually went ahead and made up a double batch of this. One batch is gonna get you, you know, a little less than one cup of sauce and I wanted more than that. You can store this dressing in your refrigerator for several weeks without it going bad. Now on to the croutons. Store-bought croutons, I just find they're very crunchy. They're great to have on hand as a convenience, but look at the amount of ingredients on the back. When you make them yourself, they're just a whole lot healthier and the way I do it less expensively is we save the crusts of all our bread for different recipes where we don't need a crust or the ends of loaves that we're not gonna use for sandwiches. We pop them in this bag in the freezer and then once I have a big good bag full, I will make homemade croutons with them. So I'm just, I've thawed out that frozen bread and I'm just going to cut it and dice it into small squares. Once 
Once you've done that, you can see I have a large bowl of bread squares. I also have garlic powder, dried rosemary, dried oregano, dried basil, and extra virgin olive oil. So you're going to put several tablespoons of olive oil into your bowl of diced bread. And then it's up to you what you want. I'm doing eyeballing about a tablespoon of all the herbs and spices I had out because I like a good herby crouton, but it's up to you how little or how much you put on your croutons. By the way, you can just use bread straight from the store for this. It doesn't have to be pre-frozen old bread, but um, that's just what I have on hand. So you're gonna spread this onto a cookie sheet and make it so they're in kind of a single layer so that they bake evenly in the oven. You can see I've already preheated my oven to about 250 degrees, so a fairly low heat, and you're gonna bake them low and long. Into the oven they go, and I would do between 30 and 60 minutes. You can gauge when they're crispy enough for you. Some people like a softer crouton. And let me tell you, a warmed crouton on your salad is very delicious. These croutons will keep in your cupboard for several weeks. Now I've got a big bowl of chopped romaine. I'm topping it with crumbled bacon and my homemade croutons and a generous amount of our homemade Caesar salad dressing. Give that a nice toss to coat. And we're going for restaurant quality here, so we're going to plate this very nicely in a good deep salad bowl. with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And it wouldn't be truly fancy without some lemon wedges on the side, would it, you guys? I love to squeeze lemon juice on my Caesar salad. So, so good. Time to dig in. So delicious. If you liked the look of this recipe, please leave me a compliment by clicking that thumbs up button below. And if you try this at home, leave a comment or tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. Feel free to share this video around with any other home chefs you think might enjoy it. And hopefully you're already subscribed so we'll see each other in the next video. But in the meantime, here are some more videos of mine that you might enjoy. Until next time, I'll just be here eating my salad. Bye guys.